thousands of people spent the last few weeks living outside in all of this wind, rain, and really cold temperatures. And we've heard from advocates that some homeless encampments were flattened and belongings were soaked or blown away. And we know at least two unhoused people, they died in these storms. Now, Becca Habegger went to Mary House, a program for women, children, and families through Loaves and Fishes right here in Sacramento to talk about the need after these storms. My name is Dorothy Richards, and I've been out here five years. The storm really did a lot of damage here. If your home is torn apart and there's nothing left and you have to rebuild, we have to start all over again. My name is Shannon Dominguez-Stevens. I'm the program director here at Mary House that lives and fishes. This is a safe space for anyone identifying as a woman, for families. Whatever family looks like, if there are children involved, we are here to serve. Uh, Scarlet in the house. Yeah, Scarlet's in the house. Hi, Miss Scarlett. Yeah, hi, Mary. My name is Mary Osborne. I'm a dispensary coordinator for Mary House. I take care of all the hygiene, the needs, the shoes, clothes, and we've been having a big storm here lately. We're in big demand of coats, jackets, underwear, everything that, uh, that will supply them for their needs during this winter storm. Extreme weather is really rough for unhoused folks because there's so much that is uncertain. They're struggling for survival when the weather is as nice as it is right now. And so you add those additional things and there's more stress, there's more trauma, there's more fear, fear of loss of life even, and illness and injury. And we get to see that here as there, our guests come in just sort of like scrambling for what's next. Get them a shirt, something warm so they won't be cold. If it wasn't for these ladies here and the churches and that, we wouldn't get any help. The women are used out here, they're attacked, and there's nothing done about it because we don't matter. If we had a job, we'd matter. If we had a roof, we'd matter, but we don't. And that's not right, and it makes me angry. All right, what else can I get for you? We are not an overnight shelter. You know, we do have like shelter referrals, but again, there's not a lot of shelter in this community. So really, Mary House is also a space where our staff that is so tuned in to our guests and have built so much rapport with our guests do have to deliver that really hard to hear news which is tonight you will probably be sleeping outside or tonight you will in fact be sleeping outside and just like creating that sort of safe space for people to unpack the heaviness of living in a community that does not provide enough shelter for them. You could be out here just like I am because you're two paychecks of, of being out here if people would just wake up and start caring instead of pushing us aside. Okay, all right. I call it a sacred chaos. Like behind those walls, I've heard so many stories and seen so many things. It's really an incredible place that the community allows us to keep doing because they keep supporting us. Now, 2023 marks Loaves and Fish's 40th year serving Sacramento's unhoused community. And on its website, there is a list of different needs that they are updating regularly from items like pets and children to hygiene and camping supplies as well. So you can find that link on abc10.com slash to the point. Just look for the links mention article. It'll all be right there.